Demi Lovato just exposed her ex-fiance Max Eric on her new album. And if you didn't know how Demi felt months after their messy split, you definitely will know now. If you didn't spend your entire weekend with Demi Lovato's Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over, honestly, what were you even doing? Demi clearly didn't hold back when sharing her true feelings about love, heartbreak, and healing following her 2018 overdose, but one song in particular revealed even more insight into her tumultuous relationship with her ex-fiance Max Eric. Although her song 15 Minutes doesn't specifically say Max's name, The Art of Starting Over couldn't be more evident given her true thoughts about their relationship when she basically says, you have 15 minutes to get your crap out of my house. Yeah, she definitely went there, y'all. Other lyrics from the song suggest that Max's true colors eventually came out, reading, quote, changed your color so fast, tried to turn my friends into friends of the past, always putting you first, could have been your future, but you didn't even care about me like that. And then there was the chorus of the song, which literally accuses Max of using Demi for fame, as she sings the fiery line, cause you were looking for 15 minutes and now you got 15 minutes. Pack your stuff, you can come and get it. But if you thought those lines were telling, Demi really went there in the bridge of the song when she alluded to the time Max called up paparazzi to photograph him praying and crying on the same beach in Malibu where he proposed to her just two months prior. Crying in Malibu. And now the image of those stage photos has just come screaming back to me. But while it seems like this was a quick shot to her ex out of pure anger for the way things ended, 15 Minutes was actually one of the more difficult songs for Demi to record, according to fellow songwriter Justin Tranter. He opened up to Entertainment Weekly after working with Demi on many songs off the album, explaining that 15 Minutes was very emotional for her, and that when she heard a quick scratch vocal on it, quote, she just started sobbing. It was really emotional and really something that Demi needed to do and say. Demi also recently opened up about her split with Max to the outlet saying, quote, I really had myself fooled because it was the safe and expected thing. Obviously I cared deeply about the person, but there was something inside of me that was like, I have to prove to the world that I'm okay. Now that I'm not engaged or married and I'm okay. I'm like, wow, isn't that so much more empowering? It's not this false sense of security. Max is yet to comment on 15 minutes, but that didn't stop fans from giving their input when tuning in. One user tweeted, quote, Demi singing about Max Eric and his clout chasing in 15 minutes is sending me. Many others pointed out a reference Demi might have made about Max's obsession with Selena Gomez when she sang the lyric, pack your stuff, you can come and get it, to which she lets out a quick giggle after singing the line. This fan wrote, okay, this is so clever, Max getting his 15 minutes of fame from Demi, but come and get it and the giggle, referring to his obsession with Selena, she did something with this lyric. It's the Selena reference for me, which is why we love Demi for telling it like it is and being able to turn these major curveballs and life lessons into pure pop perfection. And it seems Demi has clearly moved on from the past, or so fans think, so click right over here to see what's going on with her and Noah Cyrus's rumored fling, and then let us know your thoughts on 15 minutes. Let's get that conversation going in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.